very important point even so this knowledge must be essential while learning java total what are various modifiers available in java so what are various access modifiers non access modifiers like total how many modifiers are there let me summarize the list of modifiers which are available and uh, so these modifiers where we can apply is it applicable for a method is it applicable for a class like uh, the summary table what i will provide for you so that you people can feel very comfortable after completing this part just uh, listen a bit carefully total what are various modifiers available in java let me list out the modifiers first okay modifiers so first one public so the first one public next uh, private public private next uh, protected and uh, then default protected default next uh, final abstract final abstract static final abstract static next one synchronized synchronized synchronize or nized synchronized and then native strict fop native strict strict fop and then transient volatile and then transient volatile these are the 12 modifiers whatever there in java i hope 12 were covered right okay this is that's all 12 modifiers which are available in java is an athema these are 12 modifiers right whether these modifiers applicable for classes or not so among these which are applicable for classes so which modifiers applicable for outer classes and uh, which modifiers applicable for inner classes outer classes inner classes right next uh, is it applicable for methods or not these modifiers applicable for methods or not these modifiers applicable for variables or not next uh, these are applicable for blocks or not block blocks or not next uh, whether these modifiers applicable for okay interfaces or not interface interfaces are not in the outer interface and the inner interface outer outer interface inner interface right is it applicable for enum or not applicable for enum or not is it outer enum and the sometimes we can declare enum inside a class also inner enum outer enum and inner inner enum next the uh, is uh, these uh, modifiers applicable for constructors or not these modifiers applicable for constructors or not so we have to fill the total summary summary table so which modifiers where we can apply the most valuable concept compulsory you should have clear knowledge let me draw the rows also otherwise you people may get confusion okay this is let me let me draw the rows here just okay so that's all so this uh, table we have to complete this table we have to answer right for outer classes which modifiers are applicable do you know the only applicable modifiers for outer classes are 
just the five modifiers right look at this so public is yellow default is yellow public is yellow default is yellow abstract is yellow final is yellow next the strict fop is yellow so the only applicable modifiers for outer classes are public default final abstract strict fop right look at this here but for inner classes which modifiers are applicable so public all these modifiers are applicable for inner classes also but in addition to that private is applicable protected is applicable static is also applicable so it's a very clear for top level classes outer classes how many modifiers are applicable five modifiers right but for inner classes how many modifiers are applicable eight five plus three private protected static is nothing but these three extra modifiers which are applicable for inner classes private protected and static is nothing but like okay next uh, for methods which modifiers are applicable they know most of the modifiers applicable for the methods if you observe public is applicable private is applicable protected default final abstract static synchronized native strict fop right so the only modifiers which are not applicable for methods is a nothing but like transient and volatile except transient and volatile all the modifiers by default applicable for methods right okay this so which modifiers applicable for variables right okay this so public is applicable private is applicable protected is applicable default is applicable final applicable but abstract variables no next static variable yes synchronized variable no native variable no strict fop not applicable but for transient and volatile happily we can apply for variables no problem at all okay this is next for blocks which modifiers are applicable okay this is we have two two blocks synchronized block static block right so the only applicable modifiers for blocks static block synchronized block static block and the synchronizer block is nothing but like next uh, for interfaces which modifiers are applicable interface so interface is also just like a class but only thing interface can contain only abstract method interface is always abstract that's why for interfaces yes public is allowed next and after the default is allowed no problem at all but final interface is not applicable because every interface is always abstract right that's why this one is nothing but not applicable but abstract whether we are declaring or not every interface is always abstract strict fop is also applicable so clear the modifier which are applicable for classes same thing applicable for interface also but only difference is nothing but final final not applicable for interface right okay this is what are you about inner interfaces are same thing is not the man so public next and after that default next the abstract strict fop final anyway not applicable but in addition to that private is allowed no problem at all static is allowed no problem private protected and static is also by default applicable right okay this is so if we declare interface inner interface it may be inside a class or it may be inside interface the applicable modifiers are nothing but like next uh, for enum enums if we consider if we consider enum if we declare outside of a class outer enum it is something like a class but only difference is every enum is always final implicitly right okay this is so make sure public is allowed next and after the default is allowed for the enum final every enum is always final implicitly but we are not allowed to declare the final explicitly we can't but it's always final implicitly right it's always final implicitly abstract is not allowed okay because it's already final next so strict fop happily we can apply for the enums right no problem at all so for inner enum which modifiers are applicable yes so public is applicable next the default is applicable strict fop is applicable but in addition to that 
is nothing but private protected under static is nothing but like it is also applicable so for enum inner enum which modifiers are applicable is nothing but like these things right next the most valuable question especially for the entire room you know which modifiers are applicable for constructors so which modifiers we can apply the only applicable modifiers for constructors are public is allowed private is allowed protected is allowed default is allowed that's all by mistake if you are using any other modifier immediately compile a method you are going to get okay this is make sure you people should aware the only applicable modifiers for constructors are public private protected default all the remaining things are nothing but you can't apply right okay this is you can't you can't uh, apply the remaining modifiers right now all the gaps uh, let me fill with the cross mark okay this is let me fill with the cross mark right that's all these are so modifiers a summary where where we can apply is an athimat like so better to take this table after completing this table i will add some important important conclusions anyway right yes take this table okay that's all after completing so i will add i will add some important conclusions take the table clearly that's all this is the small summary table which are applicable where we can apply the modifiers total how many modifiers are there in java right take clearly okay so that's all based on this let me conclude some important questions okay this is some important conclusions right okay that's all but here yeah, there is a small small loopholes are there okay this is just to uh, observe these uh, these uh, these points are right okay this is we can declare a class inside a class we can declare a class inside a class this type of classes are called what inner classes we covered already we can declare an interface inside a class an interface inside a class we can declare interface inside interface interface a within that interface b interface a within that interface b we can declare a class inside interface interface a within that class b like okay make sure now sometimes in the entire room may be a chance of asking is it possible to declare class inside a class why not is it possible to declare interface inside a class or interface inside interface or class inside interface make sure we can declare anything inside anything is not a simple answer we can declare anything inside anything right but related to modifiers take a bit special care legend legend this point well if we declare interface inside a class every interface which is declared inside a class is always static whether we are declaring or not the interface which is declared inside a class is always static whether we are declaring or not okay this is one rule next the interface which is declared inside interface yes interface which is declared inside interface is always public and static is always public and static whether we are declaring or not observe the difference ana the interface which is declared inside a class is always static but interface which is declared inside interface is always public and static whether we are declaring or not okay this is but uh, what about a class which is declared inside interface this one is always public and static okay make sure you people should require to remember it at at these points also
I hope you people are able to understand. These are various loopholes what you people should aware related to modifiers, right? But there are some illegal combinations are there for the methods for variables like we can better to keep subbing illegal combinations, illegal combinations, illegal combinations, illegal combinations, combinations, illegal combinations, combinations. Okay. If a method declared as a public assume then we can't declare simultaneously private or simultaneously protected and now these combinations won't work because it's already public public private no public protected no or reverse also private public or protected public no is there nothing but like if a method of course it is for methods next time so if a method declared as abstract if a method declared as abstract can you tell what is abstract abstract means abstract method means doesn't have any implementation doesn't have any if any modifier talks about implementation is always considered as illegal combination only so abstract final illegal combination abstract static illegal combination abstract synchronized abstract synchronized abstract native abstract native abstract private abstract strict fp abstract strict fp is a nothing but like these combinations by default are illegal combinations with respect to abstract for methods right okay this is next so this is talks about method level if it is a public you can't declare if it is abstract you can't declare simultaneously like and at the variable levels also I hope it is clear next for variables levels also variable level one dangerous combination if the variable is the public if the variable is the public we can't declare with either private or protected illegal combination right if a variable is the public we can't declare the private or protected if the variable is the final very important word final final means the value can't be changed we can't declare as volatile we can't declare as volatile because volatile means keep on changing Final means won't change. Illegal combination for the variables, right? Okay, this is at variable level, which combinations are illegal combinations, right? Next up, yet class level. That's all. This is next up, yet class level. Now this is about yet variable level, method level, next class level. So if a class is the final. We can't declare as abstract. Final abstract combination is illegal. Okay, you can't you can't declare like this. Final abstract is illegal combination, right? If the class is the public, then we can't declare as a private or protected. Anyway, of course, this terminology is applicable for inner classes. Inner inner classes, right? That's all. So at class level, method level, variable level. Various illegal combinations are right, okay? That's all.